All right, a little different video. So we got invited to a after the show sale in a in a parking lot, which should be really, really interesting. Uh, we're gonna take a walk over now, check out what my man has in there, share what we find, and uh, let's have some fun with this. All right, inside this truck, nothing but books. This is on top of all the inventory he had at the con. So uh, let's do a little digging and then we'll see what we can find. All right, so like I was saying, so uh, Miami Traders, Roberto, I met him at the Megacon and he offered me the opportunity to come shopping in that truck. As you saw, that it was just loaded with comics and some Funko Pops. And I got there, after I got there, a couple of other guys came in there and there was people digging and just shopping. Well, let me show you what this man had in, in his inventory there. And that was on top of all the stuff that you saw that I purchased at Megacon. So, uh, big shout out to him. Give him a follow. If you see him at a local show, say what's up. Tell him Erod sent you. Uh, he's giving great deals. But I, I picked up this Amazing Spider-Man number 400, Death of Aunt May. Uh, this is the gatefold cover. It actually has the cutout, the die cut. Uh, good book to own. Uh, this book has gotten hot, and my boys, the pressable defects, were talking about this. Uh, Marvel Point One, all new, a different Marvel Point One number one. There are multiples. You've got Sam Alexander is one of the, the probably the bigger one in these. But this is the first appearance of Blind Spot. Don't sleep on this. You can still find this pretty cheap in dollar bins. But right now, uh, if you look on eBay, this book is selling for about fifteen bucks. So you know it, it's a good book to pick up. Um, Swordmaster number one, great book in my opinion. This character uh, becomes the new Iron Fist. My opinion, if they ever decide to bring back Mike Coulter as uh, Luke Cage, and they give it a new Iron Fist or just redirection, you can go with this character as Iron Fist and not that other lame guy that was terrible. Just terrible. That was so bad. Um, Star Wars Darth, Va uh, Darth Vader number 14. If you don't know, first Ahsoka Tano in Marvel Comics. So it's the cameo. This is a great, great spec book for Ahsoka, especially when you're seeing what prices are on that uh, Clone Wars number one. It's through the roof. It's bananas. Uh, lower grade, but still a great, great Jack Kirby cover. Uh, Daredevil number 34. Iconic Daredevil fighting Captain America. Love the way Cap Kirby does the, the perspectives with the big hands to show, you know, closeness and depth. Uh, I'm a fan of this. Fan of this book, too, because there's so many first appearances. And it's basically Harry Potter in the Marvel Universe with, you know, Strange Academy. It's great. Because you. I, what I love the most about this, Doctor Strange is the teacher, you know, but... All of the other teachers that come in there, so like Ileana Rasputin is a teacher there. Brother Voodoo, you get or you get all anybody with mystic arts uh, will see this, and there's a ton of first appearances. So this is a really good book at this time to pick up because it's relatively cheap. Um, yeah, this thing is nine six nine eight quality. It is the reprint, but man, it is nice. It is super super clean. Um. Star Wars number 43, first appearance of Lando Calrissian in comics. Good book. Good book. Uh, took this just because it was crispy, crispy, clean. And it was a newsy, newsy uh, uncanny X-Men 14. Annual number 14, uh, first appearance of Gambit. You know, the controversial issue. But he's in a panel. They say his name. He's in multiple panels. They say his name. I mean, kind of like first appearance. It's just a continuity thing. A uh, book I always pick up in high grade. Uh, this book is just, it's a banger. And I have to change these boards out, but uh, bags of boards out. But that's Captain America Annual number 8. Um, gorgeous Mike Zek cover. Man, I wish Mike Zek would come back to the United States just to do a signing. I would get so many different books that I passed up on. This being one of them. You use this blue paint pen along where uh, the Wolverine is. Oof. Talk about Wolverine. Who saw the trailer of the Wolverine? How good was that? Um... Really, really good. Yeah. Some of these books I'm going to press out. Sent to CGC. Uh, the grades have been a little bit lenient there with CGC now. So, like I said, as long as I know I press the books and got them graded myself, I'm okay with that. Um, and I try and pass that on to my customers. Uh, talking about pressing and stuff. 
if you have any books that you want to drop off, I know some people don't want to take it to, uh, you know, put it in the mail and go through my service through the mail. Uh, Main Street Comics and Toys is my drop off location. Stop by, see Mike, tell him Erod sent you. Man, you're not going to be disappointed. Even if you just come by and say hello, check out that shop. It is one of the best. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description on my video on the uh, opening of that shop because it's, it's the best shop in New Jersey by far. Uh, definitely need to go check it out. But that is my drop-off spot, Main Street Comics. Um, I've had this book twice now within four months when I never could find it. And this is a, a tough cover. It's a badass cover. It's a little risque, but who doesn't like that? Uh, Cry for Dawn, volume, what's this, volume three, right? Volume five, I'm sorry, volume five. Um, this this became the thing where Marvel did a risque, they, they did an homage to us. I believe it was uh, Manera did a, a, a cover with Spider-Woman. And uh, it blew up and everyone went crazy over that cover. But yeah, Cry for Dawn, volume five. So I just had to grab it, uh, minty minty copy. Of Conan number 241, New Stand Edition. Uh, the reason I'm grabbing this, this is Todd McFarlane on Conan. Uh, the line work on this is bananas. It's really, really nice. Real nice. Um, and then the last two were the bangers of, of the day. Uh, picked up a Detective 411, probably like a 5-0 maybe. Yeah, probably like a 5-0 with, with the spine. But that's the first appearance of Talia Al Ghul. Um, and I can't believe I got this at such a great price. Again, shout out to my man, Miami Trader. Uh, good, good dude. Tell him I sent you. Say hello to him. He sets up basically just at local shows out there. Um, uh, but, uh, he's got, he's got inventory. And that's what you want. You want a guy with good inventory. And here's the last book I picked up from him. And I had to say this. Never owned this book in my life. Um, just couldn't get it at the right price. Couldn't, uh, and, and it's a great book. Uh, it is Lois Lane number 106. It's that time machine with the black Lois Lane cover. Uh, very trend setting for its time. And this this book is nice, man. This is really, really nice. It's, it's at least a six, might be a seven, depending on the press. Uh, it has a little tanning to the back, but even in a seven oh, great, great book to own. So yeah that's the video uh, appreciate you guys watching let me know how you think i did um i got everything here for 400 bucks um i think i did fantastic just these two books alone are monster books and uh i i like i said again i i couldn't be more pleased with the experience megacon make sure you guys are going out there checking it out uh, matter of fact, talk about cons. King Kong is coming. April 6th, I believe it is. Go check out the website. Um, go go take a look at all the artists that he's announced. He's he's upped his game dramatically. Greg is crushing it. New location, better location. One day show this year. Um, but it is going to be a blast. I will be there. Very Gary, Depressible Defects, Streetside Anthony, and a litany of other people. Zap Comics and all of those guys. Um... A lot of fun. Make sure you're checking it out. Until next video.